please listen these are mysteries in the kingdom for supernatural preservation now i want to pray just help those under the anointing as i pray you don't have to bring them out but i want to pray now if there's need to bring them out i'll bring them please just five minutes of prophetic declarations and we're done please pay attention now everyone here connected to anything that has to do with ancestry anything that has to do with bloodline everything that seems to have a legal hold over your life right now in the name of jesus i decree and declare at the count of three by the fire of the holy ghost it will consume that devil now one two help them three be free now please help them be free now that happen as though tomorrow over you let that spirit live your destiny now hear me anyone here who is in ministry particularly and it looks like the more the ministry is extending in age the more everything is going down whether in membership whether in impact whether in visibility you may be following online i'm standing here under the corporate anointing with all the servants of god here and we decree and declare whatever makes ministry a frustrating adventure for you that it looks like you are called but nothing in your life shows that you are called by the power that raised christ from the dead we cost that spirit now the same applies to business the same applies to career your tomorrow i repeat should never never be worse than yesterday now hear me if there is anyone here who is struggling with any terminal disease particularly something that is already eating you up that is already plunging you towards death or anyone here having dreams and all you keep seeing are dead people dead relatives people who have died interacting with you or whatever it is the living and the dead have nothing in common therefore this night by this oil of preservation be separated forever be separated forever and any human agent in partnership with demonic spirits to invoke death or pain or losses or tragedy over your life and your endeavors in the name of jesus christ we decree and declare this oil upon you becomes an oil of judgment against them hallelujah if there is anyone here that you have been marked in the realm of the spirit for kidnap by any terrorist group whether in this nation or around the world i stand in the name of jesus as one sent of god i decree and declare that anybody who stands by the road to kidnap you i command the earth to fight them in the name of jesus whether in the day whether in the night every devil walking through men that will stand by the road to kidnap or oppress you may the earth fight them in the name of jesus and every manifestation of accidents whether by road whether by sea whether by air hear me if you enter that plane or that car then it will not crash please believe these are not empty words these are not empty words at all let me pray for your children whether you are there with them or not wherever your children are may this prophetic word go ahead of them and preserve them hallelujah 
I think he was in the I, I, I don't I don't I don't watch the news so much but I, I saw something on the news or so about a young boy was it one young boy I think he's in Nigeria here that was killed or I think I hope I'm right with that story I don't I really didn't follow the story but I said what sort of a thing is this I'm saying it again wherever your children are if there is anyone who could not get to you hold your hands all over this building and begin to pray in tongues Brato shalaka prada gada balada ba sham braga de balada bos rapa kata ba kata braga de balada bo kosom brada ka shalaba rakata ba ta ba kata braga de balada bo kosom braga de balada bo sham brata ka pariada balada ba in you O oh God is the fountain of light and in your light do we see light mam brasa kata balada ba ka frata gada balada bo kosom braga de balada bo Lambre pa shopra to zopra de kapala da bakata brege de bele de bogo do prakata bakasa tai ba pras kapam brea takata balada bas go ahead and pray you are men of the spirit zika pata shata balakata brege de bele de bos mam o shata la kaposa ranta pres te pakata balada bakata brege de bele de bos rakata ba 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 Zende pres ke para kata frege de bele de bos kompras kapadai rakata bos ke pronda zate kaparata pazende kreze kata la bos zikete balada baka frede ke de balada baka sapranda kataya go ahead and pray in the spirit zinde la kapras ke baria da balata kafrada kata belia rabai. We have been made unto our God, kings and priests, and we shall reign in the earth. Zibaraba shapra da gara bala da 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 da. Zembre teka rata pakata fregede bala da bosh. Zeteka paria da ba zambria tala kapasita. Rakata fregede bala da bosh. So fregede bala da bosh. Zia da 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 bosh. Kam fregede bala da bosh. Zepregede bala da da bosh. Ke fregede bala da bosh. Rakata ba 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 ba. Zete frete kele barada balata chabrege de bele neno. Zapra chabara na na mas kembrege de bele nemo. Zete frete kele mara mas kembrege de bele nemo. Zepra kada balara ba. Rakata ba 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 kata frete de bele nemo. Zaka pros ke par de pres ke pe ke pras ke pa ta pras ke ke pe. Lembri kata balada ba da bos ke pros kata balada. Rakata prege de bele nemo koso prege de bele nemo. Lembra kata ba kata ba 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 ba. Zekres ke par de kriya shata la karya da. Rakata balada ba se prege de bele nemo. Raga da balada ba som prege de bele nemo. Sha prege de balada ba se prege de bele nemo. Raga da balada ba da prege de balada ba da prege de balada ba. Bara ba sha prega da ba kata prega da balada ba. Raka ta pa ka ta praga da bala da boka da praga da bala da baka da praga da bala da bosh. Raka da ba ka sha praga da bala da bosh. Zanda praga da bala da bosh. Zaka ta ka ta praga da bala bosh. Keep praying. Zatu ka pros ke prende le ka taria da bala da bosh. Zige da bala da bosh. Kam pras ka pare ke te bala da bosh. Blessed is the name of the Lord, the All Wise God. The fountain of wisdom. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. Mam brata kabala tayada bash. In Him was light, and that light was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness cannot comprehend. Le kapora satalam brega de balataya, and God made two great lights. One to rule in the day and the other to rule in the night. Mam brekata balada bakaria. The sons of Isaac had an understanding of the time, and they knew what to do. Shata kapa rada balaba kapra gede balada bosh. Zedekete balada bosh. Sapara tapra gede balada bosh. Kembre gede balada bosh. Make sure you are praying all over this building. The power of God is here. 
Energize your spirit man. Rakata But ye beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith. Outside, make sure you are praying. Jata kapra salaba kapra gede belere bos. Mam prekete kete pekete belere bas kampra taya. Rakata pregede belere bos kampra gede belere bos. Shaprosa kata. Rakata bara da balere bas. Zeta kapra da gede balere bas kasti pregede belere bos. Is the realm of your glory is the realm of your grace I can feel your mighty power moving in this place in the presence of angels with God's glory on the wings like the voice of mighty waters I can hear the angels sing Holy, 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 Holy are you Lord We cry Holy, Holy I can feel your mighty power moving in this place where in the presence of angels with God's glory on the wings and like the voice of many waters I can hear the angels sing Holy 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 We cry Holy Holy We cry Sing oh, 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 we cry yeah, yeah. Feel your mighty power it's moving in this place. Where in the presence of angels with God's glory on their wings, 
Like the voice of many waters, I can hear the angels sing. Oh, Lee. Oh, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosea. Hosanna to the mighty one. The lion of the tribe of Judah. We reverence you tonight in the spirit. For the things that you are doing in our lives. For your glory, for your power, for your grace and your majesty. Hallelujah. For the natural man understandeth not the things of the spirit. They are spiritually discerned. Father, we bless your name. Make sure you're blessing him. God, I give you praise. The presence of the Lord is mighty in this place. Victorious one, let the name of the Lord Jesus be exalted. Hallelujah. Of the glory and the honor. Tonight we lift our hands and worship as we praise your holy name. You deserve the glory and the honor. We lift our hands in worship as we pray. Make sure you sing it from your heart. For you are great. You the miracle. There is no one else like you. There is no There is no one else I'm telling you his presence is mighty in this place. There is no one else. There is no one else. You are great. You do miracles. Miracles so great. There is no one else. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. Lift 
Lift your hands, everyone. The presence and the power of God is mighty in this place. Lift your hands. Worship His presence. The power of God will fall in a very mighty way from right now. Because I see the angel of the Lord's presence moving. Like the dew of heaven, it will fall upon you. Ziba karesa kalianda braduja la pariada. Zida kaprate kalaba. Ye anana mosi anana anana. Ye anana ne anana ni anana 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 mo. Ye anana ne anana ni anana 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 mo. Ye anana anana mo. Ye anana anana. Ye anana anana mo. Ye anana 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 anana. Ye anana anana mo. Lift your hands like the rain of heaven, let it fall, let it fall. My God, such mighty presence. Hey, hey, hey. Just keep those hands lifted up. It's the dew of heaven. My He's the fire of the Holy Ghost. The fire of the Holy Ghost. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Shinana Kaparia Kata. Rakata Balada Bakapa. Praise your over. I am that I am. She did it at the You are the most high God. She da 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 Just keep your hands lifted up. For his power and his glory is in this place. She da da Like the fire from heaven comes to ignite your spirit. And put a passion for divine things in you. The fire from his throne. The fire I tell you, there is a fire in this place. There is a fire in this place. Greater passion for the things of the Spirit is an impartation of passion for divine things. An impartation of passion for spiritual realities. I worship you with all my heart, with all my heart. I worship you. With all my heart, with all my heart, I worship. 
one more time. I, I worship you. This is what this meeting is all about. And I am desperate for you. If you don't believe it, don't sing it. And I, and I, and I, I'm lost without you. for the dealings of the spirit in this place how that you are guiding us through spiritual paths that will bring us to the realm of grace the realm of power the realm of exploits in the spirit that will be men of strength and power and structure Lord, I pray that you put like never before a hunger for spiritual things that we will covet the reality of the realm of the spirit above and beyond anything that is in this realm. Just soak in the glory one minute. Let the instruments just play. Just let his presence rest upon you. Teaching you the art of worship. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. And Moses said, 
Do not let us depart from here. He said, for how shall the people know we are separate except your presence go with us? He said, Lord, do not let us depart from here. There is a mystery of his majestic presence. When the presence of the Lord comes upon a man, you become a living wonder. It's an aura of his presence. It's an atmosphere of his glory that words cannot articulate. Every time I pray, I pray that God will bring as many people into that realm where you will love his presence. For I have found out that the presence of God is all you need. Men chase after vain things. But when you have his presence, you have all of it. When you have his presence, the Bible says, and the Lord walking with them. And their words were confirmed with signs following. And the Lord walking with them. This is not about grammar. This is not about stories. The Bible says, and when three Hebrew boys were thrown in the fire, a presence came with them. Presence. Lord, let your presence. So we bow as we enter the throne room. And we cast ourselves down at your feet, Lord. For you are holy, thou art holy. There is none like you. For in your presence, that is where I must be. Lord, I bow as I enter the throne room. Lord, I cast myself down at your feet, Lord. For you are holy, you are holy. There is none like you. For in your presence, that is where we must be. In your presence, that is where I must be. It's in your presence, that is where it's in your glory. That is where it's in your shatina. That is where that is where the amanananana in your presence. That is where it's in your glory. That is where in your presence. That is where I must be. Now arise, O oh Lord, and come to your resting place, you and the ark of your mind. And then we will rejoice as we flow in your righteousness we celebrate your life blessed is he who comes in the name of our God blessed is he who comes Oh, His mighty presence is in this place. Blessed are you, for you come in the name of our God. 
Blessed is he, 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 who comes in the name of our God. I hail you, most high. I truly hail Hello, Kim Madonna. 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 His majestic presence, when that presence mantles you, it makes you a sign and a wonder. For there is a fire that comes from his presence. No demon can stand that fire, no devil can stand that fire. Infirmity cannot stand it. That's a place where true faith is incubated. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your presence. If the Lord has not been on my side, now may Israel sing. Go ahead and sing in the spirit. Find melodies of the spirit. You're becoming mighty men and women of the spirit. Be your blessing and glory and honor and power forever. Be your blessing and honor, glory and power forever. to the most high thank you for your presence no matter how hardened your heart is you cannot stand this majestic presence of God no matter how much of a stony heart you have when his true presence shows up smashes that stony heart the bible says the mountains keep like lambs before him who is this God Whose glorious and majestic presence can break the rocks into pieces. Lord, let every stony heart become a heart of flesh.
Hallelujah. Many of you may not realize why we take our time to press into His presence. There is a mystery of God's presence that the body of Christ has forgotten. This is not just about prayer. This is about understanding how to step into His presence. The presence of the Lord comes upon you. For you are glorious and worthy to be praised. You are the Lamb of the Lord. And unto you I lift my hands in praise. You are the Lamb of God. This is not a special number. You are glory. Listen to what you are saying. And you are worthy to be praised. You are the Lamb. Upon the throne, and on to you, I lift my hands and break. You are the Lamb of Listen, if you do not love God and have a passion for Him beyond your needs, beyond your life, beyond your ambition, beyond your schooling, let me tell you something. You will never taste of the blessings and the glory of God. For he will screen your heart until he becomes king of kings and lord of lords. Whatever else you put there, he said, lovest thou me more than this. I know you love me. But why have other things taken my place? Lovest thou me. When they saw the miracles and the manifestations and the mighty things that Jesus did, they came and they wanted to make him king. Ask them, he said, lovest thou me? We have seen the miracles and the wonderful things God is doing in this place. But tonight, can you lay aside for a minute your hunger for healing or for a miracle in your life or for a breakthrough and just say, Lord, I worship you for who you are. Just for who you are. I know that I desire a miracle, but tonight I'm not tying my worship to anything. I'm just looking for ways to express that you are good. I'm looking for ways to express that you are good. Can you bless him? Because he has been faithful. Bless him. Make sure you are blessing him in one minute. This is what we are here for. Please bless him. Bless him in one minute. I know why I'm asking you to do these things. We are responding according to the things that are happening in the spirit. Allah, Mungode Ma. 
kayo Hubangi ji kai kare kai sayabo Allah mungo de ma kayo kai kare kai sayabo chapter 2. Tonight we have to break into something in the spirit. You may not understand why we are worshipping. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, yet once it is a while and I will shake the heavens and the earth and the sea and the dry land and I will shake the nations and the desire of nations shall come and I will fill this house with glory saith the Lord of hosts. The silver is mine and the gold is mine, saith the Lord of hosts. And the glory of this latter house shall be greater than that of the former, saith the Lord. And in this place I will give peace, saith the Lord. Hallelujah. I was praying for tonight's meeting and the hand of the Lord came upon me. And in the spirit I saw a writing the season of reward and I just kept quiet and I was watching and the Lord told me he said announce to my people that they are stepping into prophetic seasons of harvest consolation and a reward a reward for labor in the spirit a reward for traveling defying yourself with the things you should chase after and I saw seasons of reward. And the Lord gave me this scripture. He says, I will fill this house with my glory. And the glory of the latter house shall far exceed. Far exceed. Let me tell you something. In this season we are entering, God is about to use your life and prove to men that it's not a waste to pursue God. That's why when I came up, I told you everything that is not of God is a waste. Are you listening to me? That's why you see me singing songs of thanks. I know the things that the Lord has shown me. And my job tonight is to direct us in the spirit into this blessing. This is not something that one or two people will just stand and testify on behalf of the house. That everyone will have a personal testimony. Oftentimes, when you begin to walk with the Lord, after you travel and show him that you love him more than the things people are looking for, he tells you to stand still and he brings the other things that men chase after and say, I give you as a reward, as a symbol of your staying in my presence. This is why I began to talk about God's presence. Haribiti harabata Hela tofiji Haribiti harabata Hela tofiji Holuwa How many of you believe what I'm saying? Because when people hear words like this, it falls on different kinds of soils. And the Bible says 
that the prophet said, by this time tomorrow, and someone dared to meander and come out and say, even if the windows of heaven were open, and he said, you will see it, so that you can confirm that God does not lie, but you will not eat of it. The Bible says they had the word just like we did. But the word did not profit them, not being mixed with faith. Let me tell you something. That the word of God is declared does not mean it will happen automatically in your heart. When it comes upon your heart and you take it and believe it as the word from God. It says, believe in the Lord and you shall be established. But he said, believe in his prophets. The oracles that he uses to declare his counsel unto the people. And he said, therein you shall prosper. I bring you the word of the Lord tonight, Koinonia. We are entering a prophetic season of anointing for the house it has started. There is a new season of glory. It's, it's an opening. And it took him from the east side, the Bible says, that the river began to flow. And he measured a thousand cubits. These are realms and dimensions of operations in the spirit. When God measures for you a thousand cubits, and you walk in that level of the anointing, and you are faithful, and you are diligent, then another thousand cubits is measured. And he said the river rose down to my waist and he measured another thousand cubits and it was to my chest and then it became a river Kapota shalakata. it became a river and the bible says wherever that water went the fish that was dead came alive listen there are some things that are not possible at certain realms of anointings when you prove faithful to god what happens is a thousand cubits the measurement of the works of men how meticulous have you followed the plan to pattern the bible says he measured a thousand cubits and he told me now you can go deeper let me tell you glory has been opened over this house and God is bringing us as a house and as a family of faith into a new dimension of power and of the miraculous. He said this is a season of supernatural exploits and many of you are yet to see that dimension in its fullness but I tell you, the spirit of God is beginning some prophetic works. You will see the miraculous the manifestation of God's grace you will see the manifestation of prosperity and the wealth and the blessings and the favor and the increase of God is already happening. It will happen by the hand of God. That's why I told you forget about the junks that people say Jacob have I loved, Esau have I hated. Let me tell you something it's not about gymnastics when you stay with God and stay on course. The Bible says the people began to move but Jesus retreated. They were six hours ahead. At the end of it he got up and started walking on the water. There will be an acceleration of the spirit. Many of you will see acceleration because you left some things behind to pursue God. He said forget about them. You will find them in your future. God is in this season about to take sacrifices. Things you would have done if you were not pursuing God. Some of you would have been in relationships if not because of your pursuit for God. Certain financial realms but in this prophetic season God is taking the things that are behind you because you have set your face like a flint. He's taking the things that are behind and bringing it before you. The Bible says I will do a work in your days that even if it were told you you would not believe. This is the season we are stepping into. He said I will do a work a work that will cause your ears to tingle blessings that will come into your life that will make you cry for days you will leave the blessing alone and be crying and be saying what minutes these things oh lord and the lord will tell you this is what i mean when i say seek ye first the kingdom and his righteousness and all other things influence power let me tell you something you will see influence in this house and in the lives of individuals. You know why? The Bible says, if I be lifted up, not a man of God, not a doctrine, not a sect. And I tell you that we have lifted Christ in this place. As a result, he said, I will draw all men to myself. If I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto myself. This is what the Lord is doing in our lives. Hallelujah. This is why many of you do not understand why there has been a season 
of rapid deliverances because of the strongholds and the works of darkness that are standing to contend against the breakthroughs of people. But tonight we are going to pray and we will stand in partnership with what the Spirit is doing. The Bible says when you pray, say, let it be done in the earth as we have seen happen in the heavens. And so God reveals to us by prophecy the things that are resident in the realm of the Spirit. And in the place of prayer we agree with heaven and say, Amen. For it is the Spirit in partnership with the bride that tells the world to come. And when the word comes, it becomes flesh. And it is made manifest in the midst of people. We call Koinonia a place of partnership and intimacy. I tell you rejoice. Because you are, God is about to use your life to prove men that have mocked your God. In your family, in your life, you will see acceleration. Believe the word of the Lord. Believe the word of the Lord. This is what God is doing in this season. You will see men walk in levels of glory. Men like God. And they looked at them and said, The gods have come unto us. Hallelujah. I bring you a word of the Lord. He said, Fear not, I have redeemed you. Isaiah 43. I have called you by name, you are mine. When you pass through the fire, I will be with you. When you walk through the water. For many of you, you are about to enter seasons of grace and glory. Aha. Uh-huh. He said, and after two days, he will revive us. And on the third day, he will restore us. This is what is happening. And many come. Where is their God? Upon Mount Zion, let me tell you what has been happening. The Bible says when that season comes in Mount Zion, the first thing that will happen is that there will be deliverance and holiness. And that's what has been happening to us in the last weeks. Immediately after that, the children of Jacob will begin to possess their body. Written in the word. It's a pattern in the spirit. That every time God wants to bring people into their prophetic destiny and into their inheritance in light, there will be deliverance and holiness. And after which the sons of Jacob... Why the sons of Jacob? Because Jacob was a man of his presence. He said, I will not let you go. And he wrestled with that man in the night. So tonight I bring you a word. We are entering seasons of reward. I believe it with all my heart. Many of you have not seen a man who looks like a portrait of the blessings of the Lord. You have seen people who God blessed from jobs. You have seen people who God blessed from crooks and pranks. And all of this. But wait and see. God will use you. And show you. You will be a portrait. Of a man that the Lord has blessed. Isaiah 51. He says. God called Abraham. Let's turn there. Shabakala marata subrege di balanabasta. Randrogo subrege tilaka subrege di believe in what God is doing tonight is a prophetic meeting God is opening doors opening portals opening things in the spirit are you there? verse 2 Isaiah 51 verse 2 Look unto Abraham What happened to him? Thy father and to Sarah who bore thee He said I called him alone And I blessed him Who blessed him? He said I called him I called him alone Not as a crowd Tonight God is calling men alone. This is not the issue of me and my roommate. Your personal faithfulness over the things of God. The Bible says, And one day the book of remembrance was opened over Mordecai. And the king could not sleep. He said, Bring me the chronicles. And when it was opened, He said, This man has been faithful in this kingdom. This was an adumbration of how seasons of remembrance happens in the spirit. It doesn't happen every day the way men of God teach. It's a lie. But there is a time, 
a kairos moment for the bible says if the cloud be full of rain your daily obedience that's why the bible says walk circumspectly as wise and not as unwise you will see a man who has been locked up and john remained in the wilderness until he sees the of appearing can i tell you something when the light of god comes upon your life even you will be afraid of yourself I know what it means for God to pick a man who is nothing. And when he has your heart, he said, My son, give me your heart. Except the Lord builds a house. He said he built it in vain. He didn't say the house will not be built. But it's in vain. And except the Lord watches over the city. He said it is vain to wake up early in the morning and to sleep in the night. Only to eat the bread of sorrow, but he gives his beloved sleep. Can I tell you something, brothers and sisters? God is bringing us into a level and a measure of rest. As a ministry and as individuals. When the Lord showed me this, I was excited. I was singing. I was dancing. I was praying because every time God shows you a thing in the spirit, the way you respond is by praise and thanksgiving. Are you listening to me? Judges, quickly. Judges 1. Let me show you something there. Praise is the recipient of spiritual things. Every time God promises you something, every time God tells you you are stepping into a season of blessing, that's the time to engage prophetic praise. Judges 1. Who is there? Judges 1. Read verse 1 to 3. Anybody? Someone read with the mic, please. Alright, let's just read here. Now, after the death of Joshua, it came to pass that the children of Israel asked the Lord, saying, Who shall be the first to go for us against the Canaanites? They were entering Canaan. They had seen it. Hallelujah. But who is going to lead the way? For them to enter into this prophetic destiny. And they asked the Lord. They said, Lord, how shall we receive this prophecy you have given us? And he told them, he said, Judah shall go up. Judah means praise. In other words, it is with your praise. Let praise lead the way. As you step into that prophetic time. He said, for indeed I have delivered the land into his hand. Not into the hands of the Israelites. Into the hands of Judah. Are you listening to me? So every time you are entering a prophetic season, that's the time to praise him. This is why we are praising him. Many of you do not know what we are doing. Rejoicing and saying, Lord, we count you faithful. He says, Judah shall go up. For indeed, I have delivered the land into his hands. I have delivered the land into his hands. And Judah means praise. Hallelujah. Praise is not just about singing and dancing. It's about acknowledging the power, the superiority, the grace of God. That God is able. The Bible says in Hebrews 11 verse 6, it says, For without faith, it is impossible to please God. For he that cometh unto him must believe. Are you persuaded that God is able? For I have read in my Bible how that a whole land was dying of famine. And in 24 hours, Katokabaya, and God used weak men, lepers that say, why we sit we here and perish? The Bible says when they were moving, God accelerated their effort so that they had the sound of chariots. And when it was time, the Bible says in the book of Chronicles, that the prophet said, believe in the Lord. And you shall be established. Believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. And the Bible says how that the worshippers were put in front. And when they began to sing, there was confusion in the camp of the enemy. They began to kill themselves. I believe in what God is doing. Please do not be part of those who will see and not step in. I declare this word because I want all of us to believe it. And know that there is a consolation. The kingdom of God works in a reward system. If God does not reward men, he's a wicked God. Every king in ancient times 
had times when he would step out and show his benevolence to the citizens. And every time you praise a king, you compel him to repeat what he did that made you praise him. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? I bring you the word of the Lord Koinonia. We are stepping into a fearful season. You will see the power of the Holy Ghost. God will orchestrate events. When God wants to destroy your life, he will send a man. I mean, when Satan wants to destroy your life, he will send a man. When God wants to destroy, to bless you, he will also send a man. If you will hear my voice tonight and believe that I'm bringing you the counsel of the Lord, you will be surprised. The Bible says, when again the Lord turned again our captivity, we were like them that dream. And so our mouths were filled with laughter. And the heathens tested. He said, the Lord has done great things for them. He said, turn aside our captivities as the streams in the Negev. It's a season where we are stepping into prophetic blessings. So men will see that there is a system in God. God does not want to call you and just make you a broke failure. He doesn't just want to call you into ministry and keep you frustrated. But he says, son, what I want is to first have your heart. There is a Chinese tree that is popularly said when you plant it for about three years, it will just be digging down and it won't grow. But within six months in the third or fourth year, it will suddenly grow and become so tall. This is what is going to happen to many people because the Bible says the remnant of the house of Jacob shall bear root downwards. This is what we have been doing laboring in the spirit many of you have been given god has given you dangerous instructions empty your account you have done it and you are suffering you thought the miracle will come immediately it didn't come yet you said god you are faithful god said you are doing this to me you are showing me that you can do this many of you some of you who are students god's scholarship you carried everything and gave and god said you are doing this to me you can't outgive me. If you outgive God, he stops being God. So every time you give to God, you provoke a dimension. And God said, I will set a new standard and let you know that I am God. We have many workers in this ministry that work tirelessly, day and night. The worship team, the ushers, the protocol, in the rain. I bring you a prophetic word. Koinonia, you are entering a season of reward. The chronicles is open over us tonight. And God is going to begin to reward men. You will see fearful testimonies here. Men will come. What others have been chasing for for years. Somebody will just come and give it to you. The Bible says Gentiles shall come to thy life. And kings to the brightness of your rising. It says your gates shall continually be open. To receive the forces of the Gentiles. I receive this word. I know that is the word from the Lord. It will change people. We are stepping into a level of anointing. You will see things happen at the frequency of grace that will make you afraid. Inexplainable but undeniable. Inexplainable but undeniable. This is what happens when the grace of God comes upon a man. You cannot explain what is the mathematics behind his success. There is a hand and the Lord walking with them. And the Lord walking with them. I announce to you it's a season of exploits. This is the word from God. Believe it in your job. Believe it in your life. Ideas will come by the spirit. You are not fasting. You are not praying. It just comes. God brings it to you. Hallelujah. shall come to pass that the mountain of the Lord shall be exalted and all the nations will flow through it. Sometimes when I look at some people who come for Koinonia, I know that if they were given an invitation card, no invitation card can bring this kind of people. You see them come and you know something brought them. The power and the grace of God. Hallelujah. Now is the time to forget about what who is saying about you or what your neighbor is saying this your roommates are saying you are always praying you are, hold on the day god blesses you they will ask you that they want to be filled with the holy spirit there are many ways god publicizes himself 
One of it is that God blesses you in such a way that will make your enemies angry. God has a system package that he does that. When he blesses you, you say, Lord, to you be all the glory. And you will see how attractive your Christianity is. We're going to rise up and pray. This is the word I brought for you tonight. The word of the Lord to the house of God. I bring you a word. We are step. This thing I'm talking about will start days from now. I'm not talking about months and weeks. See, the Bible says, Amos 3 verse 9. He said, the Lord will not do anything but reveal his counsel to his servants and prophets. Days from now, you will see all inspiring, fearful dimensions of the anointing. Fearful dimensions of grace. I saw great criticism coming from people who are saying, how is this thing happening? But this is not new. This is why he prepares you before the blessing. Because it takes stamina to sustain the blessing. Hallelujah. You will see men step into levels of grace. Miracles and healings that you cannot explain. Even you will not be able to account for it. The power and the hand of God. Favor coming. Solomon was not asking. The queen of Sheba just got up. Packaged herself. Packaged all the gifts. Traveled all the journey. And came to meet a man to bless him. When the hand of God is upon you. You become a sign and a wonder. How many of you are ready to pray tonight? I believe this. If you are doubting tonight, I'd like you to throw away that doubt. God is bigger than you. I believe in the word of the Lord. Manifestations of grace. You will see products of God's grace that will make people afraid. Believe me when I say this. There have been times in my life when I've made audacious statements like this. And then when the blessing comes, you will see. For the Bible says that which I tell you in the secret place declare thou on the mountain top. It will happen by the power of the Holy Spirit. There are angels already released to this effect. And I truly believe with all my heart that this is a personal affair. The Bible says I call Abraham alone and bless him. Many of you will hear testimonies from your parents. Your father is not supposed to reach certain levels. They just call him and Hi, precious saint. God bless you. We believe you've heard the word of the Lord from his servant, Apostle Joshua Selman. On this platform, Reflector Hub TV, we are committed to bringing you the very accurate word of the Lord. And in this month of February, I believe your faith has been stirred up. We'd like you to engage God's word with prayers. We'd like you to ensure that these words becomes reality in your life, in your family, and all you set your hands to do. Is it a sickness? Is it an affliction, a problem, a challenge, academical, ministry, relationship, in marriage? Get them engaged with the word of the Lord which you've heard. And we trust the Lord that a miracle will come to your way, come to your life. And if you are a new viewer, we'd like you to subscribe to Reflector Hub TV to keep in touch with us. And don't forget to hit the notification bell and to also share this video with your loved ones, your friends and your family. And so that the miracles, the blessings of the Lord for the month of February will get to everyone. God bless you so much. We love you.